Hello everybody, Sebastian King is coming back at you with another gacha game and in this instance I will be talking to you about Watcher of Realms which will finally release globally July 13. You will have another opportunity to play another champion collecting game, Dark Fantasy RPG with the only difference that this has a style of a tower of defense where you will get to, to deploy the, the champions in their specific designated spots and you will get to raid dungeons, you will get to raid your XP's, you will get to raid all your gold, and at the same time collect as many rewards as possible so you can expand your roster. There are 55 plus legendaries available currently as we head to global with a similar amount of epics. You will certainly have some rares that you can use in the early to uh, mid game to try to progress your account you can see the the graphics that they have designed in some of these champions you will not be disappointed by them they are split into five different categories you'll have your majors your defenders your fighters your healers and your marksmen you can equip them with variable stat gear that you will be able to farm in, in the raid dungeons. You will be able to promote them. You will be able to collect artifacts for them. You will have the opportunity to awake them to make him even stronger with the dupes that you collect. You'll be able to do skill ups to improve their abilities. And you are going to have the opportunity to go raiding for those essential meteorites to craft your artifacts, to collect all the gear that you're going to need, your weapons, your breastplates, your bangles, your rings, your amulets, to make your hero stronger. You will be farming your XP that will be necessary to level up your champions. You are going to farm the gold that is going to be necessary for you to level up the gear. You are going to tackle that tide. That tide is going to be an essential portion of your development as they will give you the resources necessary to skill up your champions. And you will have to tackle the guild boss where you and your guild will work together to bring them down to give you the best opportunity to collect all those summoning crystals. If you do decide to play Watcher of Realms, at the beginning what you want to focus on is campaign. You're going to want to go through your campaign and clear as many of these chapters as you can early on. At the same time, you will be leveling up your heroes and getting stronger as you will be getting XP and you'll be getting gold and you will be getting some artifacts to progress through that campaign. Essentially, you'll be unlocking all three difficulties and you'll progress through it as far as you can on each. And as you complete each chapter, you will get phenomenal rewards that includes gems, it includes pop uh psychic power-ups to for you to be able to uh, rank up your champions you will get additional stamina and in some cases you will get summoning crystals which we all know and love in these type of games in addition to focusing in campaign early on you're also going to be trying to attempt to do as many of the steps in the storyline as you can eventually where you want to get to is you want to clear um, storyline eight because at that stage you will unlock the 3x auto feature so when you complete every stage clear it with three stars you will be able to auto that stage to keep farming at a 3x speed, including the clan boss, the guild boss. We also have Arena. Arena right now is set up to essentially be the type where you are going to deploy your champions onto the board and you will be trying to do it in a better manner than your opponent. And essentially what would happen is whoever kills the enemies the fastest is the one that is going to win. As you are progressing through the game, you'll also want to keep an eye on the black market. This is where you come and get your fodder so you can uh, use to level up your uh, champions. Uh, keep an eye on the guild shop. You'll get uh, guild coins that you can use to buy certain uh, resources that you're going to need. Most likely you are going to go for the rare summoning crystals. 
do some arena so you can come here and pick up some rare summoning crystals and at the same time picked up some huge stamina potions that you are going to need to farm the awakening shop is really tokens that you are given if uh, you have extra copies of an epic that you no longer can awake uh, awaken and uh, for my instances that i haven't collected enough to really use any this game is really free to play friendly don't be afraid to try it free to play you will get enough resources early on for you to expand your roster this is a free to play account i have been able to acquire nine unique legendaries and in fact i've already got the dupe of one uh, two dupes of one of them which allow has allowed me to awaken him you are going to be able to expand your roster with epics this some of these epics are phenomenal for progression and some of them you will even use in the end game so don't be afraid to to look at resources to tell you some of the epics that you will certainly need if you don't have legendary healers vortex is a phenomenal healer that you can use early on dolores is also uh, labeled as a healer but she also boosts the attack of your champions and she is a phenomenal epic to have in the end game i like brienne uh, early on i used her and when it is possible come here to the hero fusion list get some of these epics to help you progress uh in the early game i right away decided to give up my starter defender and came in uh fused livian you can get teal teal win that he will help you as a um as a, as a marksman and light luck just uh, additionally komodo was added uh, he's a fighter in this fusion but he is actually someone that you can use to come and get abomination i would suggest that if you can come and get him you get him he was just additionally added to the hero fusion in anticipation of the global release and i am trying to hunt down the last epic so i can add him to this account also look out for the golden pass the golden dragon pass do your quests here they're very easy to complete daily and you should be able to get the, most of the resources and dragon on the top row of this pass and if you decide to purchase the bottom one for 20 20 american dollars you will get a phenomenal set of um, summoning crystals gems gear etc and the last thing that I will leave you with, if you decide to start playing the game, there are two excellent resources out there right now. One of them is mobbucket.com. Look him up on YouTube. He has done excellent videos uh, on Watcher of Realms, especially in the end game. He has a tier list here for almost every champion, and he will tell you exactly in which raid dungeon these champions excel at where you can use them another resource too is the dragon slayer community this is the community that welcomed me into their guild cluster for the betas and i'm hoping to join them in the in the, in the global launch they also have an excellent resources they have created here that uploaded uh, some youtube videos for you to uh, be able to go through and try to clear some of the content and they also have created a tier list where you can come and see and find out which legendaries are going to help you in the early game the mid game and then the end game so that is a preview of watcher of realms i will be joining the public servers when global launches and i will start a new account because in that setting it has been the developers have said that everybody will start from scratch everybody that has been playing in the betas have been placed on the forerunner server and those eight servers uh, the eight original servers were combined and those will be kept in separate separate from the public during global launch so keep that in mind because you will be allowed to start fresh and you will not have to try to catch up to anybody that has been playing the game extensively uh, for the last couple of years however uh, the devs have not really explicitly stated that they will combine the service eventually in the future so that is still yet to be resolved look out for watch your realms available on android and ios on july 13 globally and we've been told that they've been working on a pc client so i hope that they launch it at that time with the pc client as well
Thank you very much for watching. Keep looking out for Watch Your Rooms content, and I will see you in another video.